So I've had an insight recently that I want to share. This is about an insight in my own life. Um, a couple of years ago, I wasn't, um, I'd fallen out of doing fitness stuff and being in shape. I hurt my knee and I kind of got out of the rhythm of working out. And then uh, once I decided I wanted to do it again, it was like getting back into the habit. But I started to have this idea where if I put too much time into fitness, if I, you know, I, I would take time away from work and that wouldn't be a good thing. And then I really, it was really like, okay, I could fit in an hour here, an hour there, but uh, I can't spend too much time on it. And now I spend, I don't know, three hours every day when it comes to fitness. I run to the CrossFit gym, I go to CrossFit, I take my time, I go to the market, the borough market, and I buy organic food, organic meat and veg, and I come home and I, and I make a nice big healthy breakfast for myself. I do some mobilization and stretching on my yoga mat, and then I go take a shower. So it's like a huge chunk of my day every day is spent on fitness. Um, and how have I justified that? How have I justified spending that much time on my fitness when I'm trying to run a business at the same time? I've prioritized it. I've, prior I've, made, it, I've made it the most important thing for me, um, but it doesn't mean that it's more important than my business, actually. And this is the insight that I've had recently, um, is that having my physical health is the foundation of having a healthy and successful business. And you can say that and it can kind of like, yeah, yeah, that, that really makes sense. But, and I used to say that, I used to think that, yeah, I would argue for that. Being healthy, that's important because when you're healthy, then you're, you know, you'd be more successful uh, and, and, and you have better energy and stuff like that. But it wasn't until I actually started to experience it that I really got it. I mean, on the days that I, for some reason, just jump right into work and I don't work out or I don't do fitness stuff or I'm not outdoors, I'm not really focused on my health first. The day just doesn't have the same kind of impact. I might get more stuff done, but it doesn't happen with the same vitality. Joseph Campbell says, a vital life vitalizes the world. And he was talking about it in a life that's lived most fulfilled, most from the heart, vitalizes the world, has the most impact in the world. I think it's true, but also in its more literal sense, a vital, healthy life is the one that impacts the world the most. So not will I only, maybe I wasn't getting as much stuff done in the day because it has less time, but the stuff I was doing had more impact because I'd put myself and my health first and I've created that foundation. Um, and so the, the reason why this has become so much more aware to me is that with my relationship, I was of there's things I wanted to improve with my relationship with my wife, things I'm saying I'm gonna do, but I don't actually do. Yeah, yeah, this is gonna get better and, that, and that, whatever, right? Like putting it off, putting it off, because for the same thing, if I put time into that, am I really gonna spend three hours on a Wednesday, you know, putting work off so I can sit and think about my relationship or spend time with my wife in the middle of the day because she's not working that day? Of course, there's a million and one reasons why I could justify, look, I'm doing work, it's making money so I can pay the bills and blah, 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 blah. But if I actually slow down and I apply the same principle that prioritizing the health of my relationship actually creates a foundation from which um, I can build an even more impactful uh, business, then it works the same way. And so not just intellectually saying that, yeah, that makes sense, but actually fully trying it on. What if I actually did put the health of my relationship before my business. Now that doesn't mean that I'm prioritizing my relationship over my business at up any point that my relationship wants me or needs me, then I'm gonna go and put my focus on that and not paying attention to the business. That's not what I'm talking about when I'm talking about priorities. I'm talking about the health of my relationship being prioritized over the health of my business and the health of myself being prioritized over both. And that doesn't mean that every point in time my health, my exercise gets to go first, but my exercise gets to go first as much as it needs to for me to be healthy. And then my relationship gets to go first as much as it needs to for it to be healthy. And then my business gets to go first next uh, as much as it needs to. So I think it's like health for the body, health relationship, health for the business in that order. Um, because without a healthy body, how can I create a healthy relationship? And without a healthy relationship, where's the foundation for my business? I mean, I come home to an unhealthy relationship, that's not gonna help me in my work. And what's the point of it, especially in the world of coaching? If I'm not living a healthy life, what kind of role model am I being for my clients? And so focusing on that and fully embodying that and being okay and being, and so this week, you know, besides the fact of the health, like there's been a couple of days where it's just, this week and past week, where I've just been so much more relaxed spending time with my wife instead of working. I might have had some plans for tasks, things I wanted to do, but something came up, we had an argument or whatever, and so it's like, I'm just gonna spend time doing this. And I've done it before. I've spent time before 
focused on my relationship because this is what it needs. We should do this because it and it's all intellectual. Should, should, should. I should do this because then. And what happens when it's that way? When it's like calculated, I'm uh, spending this time in the relationship because I should. It's resentment comes, and and the difference now is that I'm totally owning the idea that like creating a healthy relationship truly is the foundation and being healthy and being happier on the house is actually genuinely what's going to help me to be able to be more present with my clients you know if i come in to to my office and and we've had an argument or something like that and 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 i'm stressed and i'm rushing that's not healthy and then i'm bringing that energy into the world and what kind of impact can i have i hope that gives some insight into the power of prioritization and and how it's not so clear cut it's not just about the time that you give to things but it's about the time you give to things for what and again health being that number one thing across the board I think so hope that helps and much love